Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Google has started to roll out and release its February 2022 security update and patch for Pixel devices. The great news is, this time around, Google is releasing it to all Pixel devices at once, including their flagship Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Now the great thing is, I was able to get it over the air right away. I just went and checked for an update, and then I was able to get it, and it came in at 27.22 megabytes on my 6 Pro. At the same time, I was able to get it on the Pixel 5a 5G. So it looks like maybe they're picking up speed as far as rolling this out, and the update for the 5A 5G was even smaller at 10.81 megabytes. Now, if you have a different device, maybe a Samsung device, you may have already had this update for as many as about eight days or so. So on the Note 20 Ultra, you'll see I don't have it yet. I have the January 1st update. I keep checking, but you may have had it for some time, whether it be a Note or an S21 Ultra or other. So you should have the same updates with many security fixes as well. Now, like I said, this is available to all devices, but it is the last update for the Pixel 3 and 3XL, sadly. So for the 3 and 3XL, this will be the last update and there won't be any more. And you can see all of the different software versions here. So if you wanna know if you have the current build number, you can check the build number at the bottom of the notification shade. And if it matches the one in the upper left I have posted here, you'll be able to see the current version. So as long as you have that, you're on the most recent version. As far as changes and updates, while this is not a feature drop like we had the previous months or so. However, we do have new wallpaper like we do every month that Google adds. So if we go to wallpaper and style, Tap on change wallpaper, you'll see curated culture, and this is actually for Black History Month. So we're celebrating not only Black History Month in the wallpaper, but 12 months of different wallpaper. So they've added three new ones every single month with each update. And so you'll see the three new ones at the top. You can tap on them, tap the eye, and learn more about them. This one says creative wonders. Creativity is emerging around us. It's a fusion of ideas and spontaneity. And all three of these are illustrated by Aurelia Durand. And hopefully I'm saying that name properly. If we go back one, you'll see here the next one, we have Community Matters. Community elevates voices, brings everyone closer to each other, and makes people's lives spark. Again, there's one others. So if we go back, the next one, you'll see it says music makes people feel. Music invites us to share a moment of joy, movement, and energy. And so those are the three wallpaper this month. There'll be some new ones next month, just like we've had all along. So it's great to see them update this every single month. As far as any other additional changes and features in here, well, what we have with this update is mostly bug fixes and security updates. Now the bug fixes pertain to specific devices this time around like they normally do. So I'll let you know whether it pertains to the 6 Pro or 6 or the 5A or any other device individually. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. The first update has to do with the camera on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro where it could cause the device to reboot. That has been fixed in this update. Also, the next couple of fixes have to do with Bluetooth and again pertain only to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. The first one had to do with causing audio playback to disconnect while using certain Bluetooth devices. They haven't specified what those devices are. And there's a general improvement for Bluetooth audio quality with certain media codecs for the 6 and 6 Pro. Also, the next one has to do with a fix for the framework overall, which could cause the keyboard to display over the input text in certain conditions. This pertains to all devices and should be fixed for all of them. So if you're using the Google keyboard, it shouldn't sort of overlay anything else anymore. And then also on almost all the devices from the Pixel 3, Pixel 4, 4XL, 4A, 4A 5G, Pixel 5, they fixed issues with telephony where the connectivity for certain carriers is now working properly. So there was an issue with that specifically, those have all been resolved. Now, as far as security updates, there's quite a few in this update, not as many as last time, but I'm going to run down them quickly. So there's one AM logic component update, five framework updates, one Google Play system update, four media framework updates, five media tech component updates, two pixel updates, security specific to the pixel devices, seven Qualcomm component updates, six Qualcomm closed source component updates, seven system updates, and four Unisoc component updates. So all of those are in this particular update. Again, most of the fixes or half of the fixes or so are for the six and six pro specifically. The other devices were not having that issue. Now, as far as feature drops and things like that, we can expect one in a couple months or so. 
We're not going to have one right away typically, but you never know. Google could surprise us on the Pixel devices with new features. And of course, you have some new features and things with One UI on your Android devices that are running on Samsung. So you have quite a few of these updates across devices and they can vary from device to device. I've thought about covering One UI in depth in future updates, so I wonder what you think about that. I'll continue to think about it, see if we have time to do that, and I would love to maybe provide you with the latest updates for that as well. As far as overall performance, well, performance seems to be about the same. For those of you that don't follow me regularly, I do use an iPhone, but I also use a Pixel 6 Pro every single day. So I use both of these devices regularly, and I really like the 6 Pro. However, most of my family's on iMessage, so it's just easier to use iPhone where everyone else is on here. So I use this for everything else from YouTube management to TikTok to Instagram and more. So I'm on the Pixel quite a bit throughout the day. A lot of TikTok though on this particular device. So performance on both devices seems to be the same. I haven't really noticed any difference between either of them from using them before or after the update. Being that it's just a bug fix and security update, I would expect the same. Battery life should be about the same. It's been doing pretty well for me. And again, like I said, it's not my full-time device, but let's go into battery. So you can see here, my battery's at 85%. I took it off of the charger this morning. Let's go to battery usage, and you can see I use TikTok quite a bit, and then the Pixel Launcher and Google. I do use those things quite a bit, but TikTok used the most at about 20% of my battery life. It seems to get really good battery, and it should be fine with this particular update since it was fairly minor. If there's anything else you found in this particular update, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.